Hi everyone, this is Nula. Um, I've got a lot of questions from my viewers about how to make the blue countdown bar disappear uh, when the chameleon bootloader shows up when you boot your Hackintosh. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, one is reducing the time that it counts down. The default time is five seconds, but uh, those five seconds do seem like an eternity. So usually you just press enter twice or something like that. But there is a, a way, if you don't need the bootloader, uh, if you only run one operating system, or um, if you use my solution from my uh, previous video about dual booting, you can um, actually make the chameleon bootloader not show at all and it's called quiet boot and what you do is you uh, go into your hard drive you go to your extra folder and you have a file called com.apple.boot.plist and if you open that you'll see here that the default timeout is five seconds. You can change that to two seconds if you do want a bootloader but don't want to wait the five seconds. Um, to edit this you would think that you could edit here two seconds and press save but you will not be able to save the file at its location. So what you would have to do is just copy it to your desktop, open it there, and edit it and save it. And I got two keys that we can input to the file. I'll show you the first one, which is quiet boot. And you just take this string, text string, and add it down here. You don't need to use the tab to like move the text out, but I like to do it, it looks neat. And you save it, close it, and then you just drag it back there. And you authenticate it, replace, and it asks for your password. You enter your password, and boom, you're done. And now I'll reboot my computer, and we'll take a look on how the boot looks. And there you go, you see that the timeout is now not there. It does show the graphical user interface of Chameleon Bootloader for a split second. And maybe you're okay with that, maybe you're not. I'm the kind of guy that <laughs> don't see the point in having the little flash of the bootloader since you're not using it. So here's uh, another thing you can do. We do the same thing, take the the com.apple.boot.plist out to the desktop. You see the quiet boot string here, and we'll, we're going to add another string which will remove the graphical user interface of the chameleon bootloader. So you end up with a file that has a string for quiet boot and a string for no graphical user interface. Save that, drag it down there, authenticate, do you want to replace it? Yes, enter your password, and then you're done. And now you can de delete those two files, and let's take a look at the boot 
how it looks now. And there you go. Now you see that the boot is more or less like you would expect on a real Mac, uh, except the post stuff from the BIOS and all the DOS lookalike stuff <laughs> uh, that shows you what drives you have connected and everything. So the bootloader now does a quiet boot, does it in the background, it doesn't show any graphical user interface. Um, combined with um, using my method for dual booting XP, that could be a solution. Uh, but be aware that if you do something that causes a kernel panic in OS X, um, like adding another text and then kind of crippling your system, with the bootloader you would be able to boot in safe mode, kind of like you do in Windows if you screw up uh, the driver for your video card or something you can boot in safe mode it won't boot with all the drivers and stuff you'll be able to fix whatever you screwed up and then boot normally. Uh, if you use quiet boot I would guess you have to boot from a boot CD like Empire EFI or or some other solution to be able to fix what you have done wrong. <laughs> but um, usually if you have a working system you won't um, screw around too much with it so and if you only run OS 10 or wanna have the fastest boot possible this quiet boot with no graphical user interface can be the way to do it. Just beware of the, the consequences if you do something wrong. Well, that was it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial. And um, feel free to comment and rate my video. And I'll catch you later. Have a nice day.